Good day. In this video, we're going to look at applications of parabolas and straight lines. It's part of the grade 11 and 12 syllabus. We're going to do specifically this problem. We were given this sketch, and they wrote f of x, this, is 2, and then they gave us this part of the equation with the p missing there. Then they told me g of x, and there's something missing over here for that line. They wrote g over there, f over there. They said ed is parallel to the y-axis. Then they said determine the value of p, that number over there. With experience, you'll find out that lots of times you need the equation of the one to help you to find the information on the other one. Therefore, if you look here at g of x, this line, the minus 10 here is your y-intercept, so you can immediately write it in, so you have the coordinate of c. I just wrote it out for us. We said the y-intercept of g of x, this equation, is going to be c naught and minus 10, because of this minus 10 at the back here. If you make this x naught, you'll find minus 10. Now we write down the equation of f of x. Substitute this c into this equation and simplify for p. Then you'll get the answer p equals to minus 5, and I can replace it back in there. But the question was, calculate the value of p, here we have it, minus 5. We use this c because it's a common place for the two graphs. So c lies on the parabola as well as on the straight line. So that's why I could use it on the parabola. The second question says, determine the length of a, b. You have to go and look on the graph, where's the a, b? Yes, there's an a and a b. Because it is the x-intercepts of the f of x function, I need the equation of f of x, which I already worked out, and I have to work out the x-intercepts. Therefore, we have to make y naught. That's what I wrote over here, and we solve for x now. We divide by 2 on both sides. Then we get our two x values, x equals to minus 1, or x equals to 5. Then we can see that x at a is minus 1 because it's further to the left, and x at b will be 5. So I wrote it in on the graph immediately. Then the final answer, the length of a, b will be 6 units, 1 unit from there to there, plus another 5 there. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. The next question asks to determine the value of small letter m. And that m was part of the gx equation. There's two ways to do it. I'm going to go for the shorter one. Because the b, 5, and 0 lies on both the parabola and the straight line, I can just substitute this back in here. The naught in the place of y and the 5 in the place of x. Then if you simplify this, you'll find out m equals to 2. There's another way you could have taken this coordinate and this coordinate and work it out with a formula. m equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 using the coordinate here and the coordinate there. You must know this technique. In this sum it was unnecessary. The question was, find the value of m, which we did. I always put it straight back where it belongs, into the equation. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. By now, I have indicated all the things I've worked out onto my sketch here. I've got the two equations. I've got some coordinates that I've worked out. And now they ask me, they say, given... ED equals to 16. So from there to there is 16 units. Determine the coordinate of E. We have to find out what the coordinate there at E will be. If ED equals to 16 units, then the Y at D will be minus 16. So if you go down there to D, you can write in a small coordinate. We don't know what X is, but we know the Y value is minus 16. And D lies on this parabola. So we are not going for E, we are going for D. Because it lies on f of x, I write down the equation of f of x. I simplify f of x fully, which I've done earlier. So this is another way of writing f of x. Then we make y, we substitute y with minus 16. And now we solve for x. If you bring the minus 16 to this side, you'll get 2x squared minus 8x plus 6. Now we solve for x. From here, there's lots of ways of doing it. Usually I would advise people to go straight to the quadratic formula now. But but this one will factorize easily. You take out a common factor, you factorize this, after dividing by 2 on both sides, then you get x equals to 1, or x equals to 3. Now we have to find out which one of the two it is. Now you should know that in the middle of line AB, x will be 2. 
AB was six units long, so three units from this side or three units from this side, you'll find the middle where x is 2. 5 minus 3 is 2, and minus 1 plus 3 is also 2. So E will be the coordinate, 1 and 0, because it must be left of the 2. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. The last question of this video says, find the turning point of H of X, there is not even an H of X, if H of X is a transformation that happened to F of X. So firstly, we need to find the turning point of this f of x. We already worked out that the x of the turning point was here at x is 2. We also work it out with different ways. So then I went to f of x. I substituted 2 in the place of x to get the y value. That will give you y is equal to minus 18. So my turning point of f of x is 2 and minus 18. I wrote it in there for us. Now we will change this turning point and apply these rules of transformation that they gave us. Let's say they said take f of x minus f of x plus 2. So this minus in front here tells me to change the sign of the y, or in other words, times the y by a minus 1. So we go to this y value and change the sign. Then we plus 2 to the y value, or in other words, shift it up. So the turning point of h of x will be 2 and 20. Nothing happened to the x. We change the y sign and then we add a 2 to the y value. You can look at the video, transformations of functions, where this is explained. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you run into any mathematical school problem that you cannot solve, you may send it with a clear WhatsApp photo to this number then we will try and solve it and send back an answer as soon as possible for free.